Russian President Vladimir Putin has demolished his residence in Sochi, possibly due to concerns over frequent drone attacks, according to the investigation by the Proect media outlet. Journalists noted that Putin had not visited his Sochi residence for the past seven months, which had not occurred for at least 10 years. The reason is that a pit can be seen on the site of his residence. The building was demolished. After analyzing satellite images, we concluded that the demolition began in February 2024 and by March, the building had been leveled, the investigation's author stated. The dacha, called Bocharov Ruchi, had been considered perhaps Putin's favorite villa. Data from the Kremlin showed that he used to spend as many as 37 days in a year in the dacha, hosting foreign guests and celebrating birthdays with his secret lover, the Russian gymnast Alina Kabaeva, and their two sons. But Ukrainian drones have been striking Sochi with increasing frequency over the past 12 months. This appears to have spooked Putin, who has only visited Bocharov Rushi once this year in March to host Rafael Gossi, head of the UN's atomic agency. Putin last flew to Sochi seven months ago, a source described as being familiar with Putin, told Proect. He even broke a long-standing tradition of coming to Sochi to celebrate Alina's birthday in May. Bocharov Ruchi was built by the Soviet Union as a summer residence for Kremlin leaders. Putin renovated it to suit his opulent, working-from-home tastes. He likes to blend luxury accommodation where he can relax with family and friends, with heavy-set meeting rooms to host guests, and offices with banks of telephones where he can remotely conduct his affairs. Proect said that during the COVID pandemic, Putin isolated himself at Bocharov Rushi, enjoying the temperate Black Sea climate. He even had a copy of his office at his residence in Moscow, built in the dacha, to give the impression that he was in the Russian capital. Putin is paranoid about being assassinated and has reduced his travel commitments since he invaded Ukraine in 2022. He prefers to travel by armored train, if possible, and has cut air travel. Another source, described as a friend of Putin, told Proect that Kremlin officials had not been ordered to Bocharov Rushi this year. They discuss it among themselves and are surprised that they have stopped being invited to meetings in Sochi, he said. According to them, the Kremlin leaders fears visiting the Black Sea coast of the Krasnodar region due to drone attacks. He reportedly began feeling a threat to his safety back in 2023 when the region was frequently attacked by Ukrainian drones. Additionally, since 2023, the pilots of the planes Putin uses have been turning off transponders for most of their flights, making the aircraft untrackable. Last year, Russian media revealed that Vladimir Putin had increasingly started using an armored train for his travels. One of the reasons for this decision is that a train is harder to track in real time compared to an airplane. The Ukrainian armed forces captured a rare Russian stealth drone S-70 Okotnik, writes Forbes. The publication writes that the drone fell in the area of Chesov Yar, and the Russian Federation has only a few such devices at its disposal, the cost of which is approximately $1.5 billion. Now the drone, or its parts, have fallen into the hands of the Ukrainian armed forces. This is a significant loss for the Russian Aerospace Forces, since there are only a few such drones with a 65-foot wingspan and a jet engine, Forbes analyst David Axe reported. According to him, one of these UAVs or its wreckage is now in the possession of Ukraine and its allies. They will disassemble it down to the last screw and, of course, familiarize themselves with its rich internal contents, said Fighter Bomber, an unofficial telegram channel of the Russian Air Force. The analyst notes that it is unclear what exactly caused the drone to be shot down while it was trying to avoid radar detection. Video from the ground clearly shows a military aircraft firing a missile at the arrow-shaped Okotnik, causing it to crash. The question arises, was it a Ukrainian fighter jet, or perhaps a Russian one? The first version seems more likely, but the second is not excluded either, he points out. If the Okotnik was out of action, the Russians might decide to shoot it down themselves to avoid the risk of it crash landing and falling into the hands of the Ukrainian military in relatively undamaged condition. I really hope it was a loss of control due to something going wrong, or the drone's brain going crazy for its own reasons, not because the drone was intercepted by the enemy, fighter bomber wrote. 
One of the possible reasons for the downing of the Okotnik could have been intense electronic warfare on the front line. According to experts, the drone probably does not have full autonomy and relies on stable communication with ground operators. Now Ukrainian and allied analysts can confirm this feature by examining the remains of the downed device. It is a major loss for the Russian Air Force, which has already lost more than 100 combat aircraft, including a Su-57 fighter, during the war in Ukraine. It is noted that the first images of the Okotnik appeared in 2019, where it was recorded at an airfield in Novosibirsk, resembling the American B-2 with its flying wing design. The drone is classified as a strike and reconnaissance drone. According to independent Russian military aviation expert Tom Cooper, it is likely that the Okotnik is still in the testing phase and has not yet entered serial production. It may still be a prototype aircraft. While it is not uncommon for the Russian Air Force to deploy test aircraft to combat zones to gather real-world data, losing a rare and expensive test aircraft during combat testing is a huge setback for the development effort, he points out. The Russians likely deployed the Okotnik because of a shortage of standard surveillance drones, which they are losing in large numbers on the front lines. According to analyst Andrew Perpetua, a third of Russian surveillance drones are shot down by Ukrainian forces every day. In response to the surveillance gap, the Russians decided to deploy the Okotnik, but it fell victim to the same Ukrainian air defenses that have destroyed many of their other drones.